hope you all are keeping well your interest in the subject and if you are losing your interest i would request you to hold it for a while as now we have entered into the last school of thought on our strategic management or on the discussion of strategy the 10th school of thought is about configuration school of thought if you remember your journey in the subject over the last 9 schools you have, have you have got different flavors in different schools of thought and this particular school of thought is also offering you a different flavor but this flavor is a comprehensive flavor that you would find out the reflection of all the previous schools in it the name of this particular school is the configuration school first focus on the word configuration if you break this word you can break it into two con and figure if you focus on the figure what is the figure figure for example i am appearing before you this is my figure before you actually figure is the state of something and the process by which the state comes into being is known as configuring i'm sure that you are familiar with this word in the sense that you have many times configured some softwares some applications or even the windows in your computer system so what do you understand by configuring a window it means that installing or implementing or applying a window software into your hardware computer so that you could operate taking the same concept the organizations are also configured they have got a figure which has come into being so configuration school of thought is the school of thought which believes that that in strategy making the configuration of an organization is also important rather you need to understand that every organization when begins it has got a given configuration and when it operates in response to its environment it keeps on holding and changing its configuration with the passage of time so there are two important concepts involved in this particular school let's have what are these two configuration and transformation i would like you to cite an example that yet consider the situation of a horse and a cart you see that the horse actually pulls the cart horse is basically the actor who moves the position of a cart from one position to another consider that the example of the horse and cart and try to understand that cart is the configuration and horse is the strategy strategy actually the process see understand from this example that cart as an organization given configuration of the organization and horse as a process which is trying to pull the organization from one position to another position so this particular school of thought actually discusses that organizations have got particular configurations and they hold their configurations for some time but their configurations are never static never constant because there is a process known as the process of transformation which is always continuous maybe in a known way or unknown way maybe in an imperceptible way maybe in piece by piece way maybe in some revolutionary way or maybe in some evolutionary way but transformation is always there in the lives of the organizations so if from a given configuration of the organization this transformation process sooner or later slowly or fastly moves the organization from one place to another so actually organizations over the period of time change their shapes they change their configurations and this is all because of one factor that the environment around the organizations is dynamic so you need to understand that very very important aspect here that organizations are the given configurations and these always undergo a transformation process which over a period of time 
changes the configuration of the organization from one to another and this is very very important for understanding the process of strategy making conclusively here we can say that the organizations in organizations there are two important aspects the one is the aspect of the organization being in one state and another is the process of transformation which is always on so because of the transformation process which is actually the strategy of an organization which is the process which resultantly moves the organization from one state to another state thank you very much